Hey guys, Ike here from Mike's Outdoors. Today I'm here to give you a list of 10 things that every hunter should keep in their backpack. Okay, so we're going to start the list off. Now, some of these things are archery only, but there will a lot of them, I, I, I know at least nine of them will translate over well to you rifle hunters as well. And this is specifically for the Midwest tree stand hunters type of guys. If you're hunting out west and going into the mountains and things like that, probably going to have a complete different list of things that you deem essential to keep in your backpack at all times. So let's start the list out. I'm just going to grab these in random order. There's absolutely no specific order to these. Um, one thing I keep in my backpack at all times, and not this one, but this is just an example. I keep a camo pull-up cord, pull-up rope extra in my backpack. And many of you guys that are tree stand hunters have probably faced this in the past where you get to your tree stand and only to find that you don't have a pull-up rope on that tree stand and you're going to have to climb up there with your backpack on your back and your bow in your hand, which is extremely dangerous to do, but I'm sure all of you guys have done it like I have. Um, so I always keep an extra pull-up rope in my backpack. So that's number one. Number two is along the same lines number two is extra bow hangers i keep i've got some really nice bow hangers some hawk bow hangers and some other things like that that are really nice bow hangers and we try to put bow hangers and ropes out whenever we put a new tree stand out but sometimes you're just out there and sometimes you grab your climber and you get out there and you forget those things so it's nice to have these in the backpack with these bow hangers here these are these cheap bow hangers you can buy at walmart or any hardware store for 97 cents a piece i think um they're made for screwing in the wall and hanging bicycles on i think is what they're for but they're they're cheap they're inexpensive throw them in your backpack and if you get there and realize you don't have a nice bow hanger or any bow hanger at all these sure beat trying to figure out where you can hang your um your backpack and you're having to hold your bow the whole time it is nice to be able i don't hang my bow up a lot but it's nice to have it in case I do want to hang my bow up and put my jacket on or things like that. So extra bow hangers is an essential thing to have in your backpack. So on to number three. Number three is an extra flashlight. Um, I carry an extra flashlight in my backpack at all times because you never know when you're going to forget your flashlight. You're going to drop your flashlight and break it. You're going to get out there and realize your batteries are dead in your flashlight. So I keep an extra flashlight in my backpack at all times and I carry one in my backpack that is ultra ultra bright that way the one I go in and out with I like these ones like this that have different settings on them so I can actually tone the light down and then when I, if I want to do some blood trailing I can tone it way up and get it super super bright so I carry an extra one in my backpack that I carry at all times and I carry this one because it's got a strap on it so if I'm getting there with my climber or I need to be hands-free for some reason, I can actually strap this one onto my head and be hands-free to be able to use my climber or do whatever it is I need to do. So I always carry an extra backpack in my, or Eric, carry an extra flashlight in my backpack at all times. Um, the next one is a grunt call. I always carry a grunt call in my backpack. When it gets closer to the rut, I will go ahead and add extra items like rattling horns, doe and estrus, things like that. And that's pretty much it. It's a grunt call, doe and estrus, and a set of rattling horns. But I keep a, a grunt call in my backpack from opening day to the end of season because these do come in really handy. And I keep one. This is my favorite, all-time favorite uh, grunt call. This is a true talker. But I do have a couple other ones, um, and I don't even carry them. But I carry one that has a multiple... Uh, a big variety of calls. So in early season, if I want to hit a fawn in distress to try to get a doe to come to me, or if during the rut I want to hit a estrus call followed by a buck grunt, like a tending grunt, I can do it all with this one call without having to swap back and forth. So I like a call that is multi-function and will allow me to use different calls at different times of the year. So I keep this in my backpack from uh, season opener to the last day of season. Okay, the next thing, number, what are we on? One, number five. Number five is a limb saw. You never know when you get up there and you realize that you have a limb right in your way, right in your shooting lane. Or if you're carrying, if you're using a climber, you're definitely going to need one of these if you're using a climber. But 
I carry one of these at all times in my backpack. It is very essential. This is a Wicked Tree Gear saw that I've had for a long, long time, and it's absolutely a great saw. Another one that makes a great saw that I've had for I had before this one was a Gerber saw, and I had that Gerber saw for probably 15 years. The end of the blade was broke off for some reason, but I carry a, a limb saw with me at all times to clear a shooting lane, to, to clear the trees when I get up there, and uh, I'm using my climber, or if I forget, <laughs> A bow hanger. Sometimes you want you have to cut a limb off to be able to use uh, that as your bow hanger instead, or your bag hanger instead of using a uh, bow hanger. So I carry a limb saw with me, and I actually carry another one too. But I wouldn't carry. I wouldn't deem this one as an essential. I carry this one here from Wicked. Uh, actually, this is from who's it? Real Avid. This is from Real Avid, and I like this one to just trim up, prune, do some pruning around then my stand and I like it because it's got a multi-tool function to it. It's got another little limb saw, it's got a knife in there, it's got a couple other things. So I carry all the limb saw with me at all times and I also carry this little pruner as well but the limb saw is definitely the essential tool that you're going to want to leave in your tree stand at all times. On that subject something else that I carry in my backpack at all times is an extra knife because you never know when you get out there and you're limb, the knife that you carry on your side is dull or I have had it happen before where I've got separated from my knife before this is the kind of knife that I carry on my side this is another real avid and I assure you we're not sponsored by real avid it just happens to be what I grabbed and they may do make great stuff but this is a real avid knife and this is what I would carry on my side is a fixed blade hunting knife with a sheath and this is what I would carry on my side I have got to the tree stand before actually I killed a deer and we were taking that deer out and we had not guttered it yet and I tipped the four-wheeler over and in the process of tipping the four-wheeler over I somehow lost my knife so when we got to the knife just came out of the sheath so when we got to the truck and we're ready to start doing our gutting I didn't have a knife so I reached in my bag pulled out this knife right here and was able to do my gutting and clean work field work with this knife so I don't carry a knife a fixed blade hunting knife in my bag my backup knife is a folder. I generally will carry something like this in my bag. I want something that's robust, something that's tough, something that's made good quality steel. This is my backup knife for a reason. If I get to this, things have gone south one way or another, and this is a, a knife that my life may end up depending on. It may depend on that one there, but if this one is coming into use, it's because something has gone wrong. So I keep this one in my bag from time to time. I also keep this one here. I just love this knife. It's a good folder. It's a case knife. It's a serrated blade on there with your uh, double bevel. I made it a double bevel on the front because I hate those single bevel knives. But this one's from North American Hunting Club I got for becoming a life member a long, long time ago. So I carry one of these knives in every pack that I, I, I have. So I carry an extra knife. I, I do also, that is the necessity. I do also carry a multi-tool as well. Uh, I wouldn't say this is a necessity, but it has come in really, really handy from time to time. Um, just something that's a good quality multi-tool. Got something there if you need to tighten up on a tree stand, or it's got an extra, it's got a knife blade on it. This one's a pretty good quality knife. It's got a couple different things on there that can come in pretty handy. So I do carry a multi-tool in my bag as well, but I would not deem this one as essential. So. What are we on now? Seven? Seven, eight, nine. No. Yep, we're on to number seven. Okay, number seven is a range finder. This is essential if you're a bow hunter. As a rifle hunter, you probably don't need to have a range finder in your kit, but it is a good piece of kit to have if you're a bow hunter because the difference between 25 yards and 30 yards or 24 yards and 32 yards that is dramatic for me because I've got to use a completely different pin So when I get to my stand, I'm ranging key features around there a tree that's distinctive and, and certain things like that And I even carry these in my breast pocket of my jacket when it's getting colder um, To pull these out and hopefully range a deer or range something I think the deer is going to walk by to get as accurate uh, a, a range as I possibly can. Now this is a Bushnell G-Force DX. This was a fairly expensive range finder and you do not need a, a super expensive range finder like that. This one here is a Simmons. This was about a hundred bucks when I bought it 
and I'm just as likely to grab this one and use it as I am to grab this Bushnell G-Force. Um, they're, they're both pretty good. This one's got the angle compensator on it, which I, I don't seem to... If, if I range something with this and the angle compensator, it'll say 26 yards, and the angle compensator will go 25 yards. So it's not enough for me to have to use a different pin, but this is essential to have in your bag at all times because you really do need to know the range and need to have it as accurate as you possibly can to make a good, clean, killing, ethical shot. Number eight is flagging tape. Now, flagging tape can come in handy in a couple different ways. Um, flagging tape can mark your, your way to the tree stand so you don't get lost. It can mark your ranges 20, 30, 40 yards so you don't need to use a rangefinder or you don't have to pull that rangefinder out and actually use it when you got deer around you. The other thing and what I use it for most is when I have a wounded deer I will take small sections of this off and tie around uh, limbs and things like that when I'm finding blood and it makes it nice because if you lose blood you can look back and you can actually see the the trail behind you and you can kind of get a general idea of where the deer is going by looking at those whereas if you don't have these and you're just having blood on the ground you're really having to try to visualize that trail with these you can keep track of exactly where that trail is and if you make a bad shot and you have to leave and come back this could be essential to finding that trail again and getting back on that blood trail so flagging tape is in every backpack that I carry hunting it is an essential essential tool to have in your backpack okay so number nine is a backup release this is my primary release this is a Wayland hooker that I have on a true ball uh, wrist strap and I love this setup I love this release but I do have I, we've all done it got to the tree stand before and realized we left our, our released either back in the truck or god forbid back at home and if you've got time to make that walk back to the truck great if not or you just don't want to disturb the area again having a backup release in your bag is essential i use my backup release is a carter um, back strap and it has a it has a different function but i use that release for so long that it's easy for me to get back into the comfort area of using it but if you're not like that, what I used to do, and before I used the back strap, I had two of them in my backpack, or two of them, and I used one as my primary, and I used another one as my backup. Um, so I had two of the exact same release with the exact same setup, and used those as my backup. It can be very frustrating to get to a stand and have everything going perfect, and your, your wind perfect, and the conditions perfect, to realize that you forgot your damn release back in the Jeep or God forbid back at home and it just will ruin a hunt. So one of the things that I carry in my backpack at all times is a spare release. Okay, number 10, I think we have all been here. We've all went to the woods before and came out with one less sleeve or one less sock. Um, number 10 is a good amount of toilet paper. Um, <laughs> everybody's been there before. You get up in the morning, you have a nice big breakfast, you have a big old cup of coffee, you head to the woods, you think you took care of business before you left the house, you get out to the street stand and an hour later you realize you did not take care of business completely and you gotta make a bad dash to the woods and hang your ass over a log. And if you don't have some toilet paper in your backpack, you're gonna end up cutting off a sleeve or end up sacrificing a sock <laughs> or something else. So it can be a pretty trying experience to get out in the woods and not have a good amount of toilet paper with you. So I keep a amount of toilet paper with me in every bag that I, I take into the woods and actually keep some in my Jeep as well, just in case, you never know. So those are the 10 things that I deem essential for me to have in my backpack at all times. And again, this is, I'm a tree stand hunter from the Midwest. So those are the things that I deem important for that situation. If you're hunting out west in the mountains, and, or uh, in Kansas in open plain area and doing a lot of spot and stocking this is not the stuff that's essential for you so this is the stuff that's essential for me as a tree stand hunter in the Midwest I hope this helps you out and I'd love to hear from you guys and what you deem essential and what you keep in your pack as the this item I have to have every time so I'd love to hear that from you guys you can comment in the comment section down below or you can follow us on social media or under Ike's Outdoors on Instagram and Facebook. And until next time, we appreciate you guys watching.